I want to ensure the memory of my brother, Patrick, is as a catalyst against injustice, intolerance, and violence of any kind. It is a ridiculous solution to proclaim that defunding police departments is a solution to police brutality and discrimination. Because it's not a solution. It gets us nowhere as a nation and removes the safety net of protection that every citizen deserves. Patrick was the type of man that when our mother fell to the ground as she was dying, he picked her lifeless body up as her spirit was leaving to place her upon her bed because that's where she wanted to die. And I think this is what Jesus meant when he said, love your enemies. And I'm happy that he didn't say like your enemies because it's pretty difficult to like some people. It's difficult to like people bombing your home and threatening your children and kicking you about. But Jesus says, love them and love is greater than like. Love is understanding, creative, redemptive goodwill for all men. And somehow, more and more I've come to believe this. That this is the way that we will get out of this dark night of oppression and make of this nation a better nation. It means that we can stand up and allow the, allow the opposition to know that we will not accept injustice. We will stand up against it with our lives, but we will never stoop down to the level of violence and hatred. And we will come to that point when we will be able to convince him that a new world is emerging. And I tell you this evening that it will give us the right attitude. I know sometimes how discontent we get, and we have a right to get discontent, and how frustrated we get in the process sometimes. But I submit to you this evening that this way of nonviolence will help us not to seek to rise from a position of disadvantage to one of advantage, thus subverting justice. We will not substitute one tyranny for another, for black supremacy is as dangerous as white supremacy. <laughs> My question is, who will pick up Patrick and carry his legacy? I believe this is a responsibility for all of us. Please do not let my brother Patrick's name go in vain. Patrick was a good man who only wanted to help others and keep his community safe. He did not deserve to die in such a horrendously inhumane way. No one does.